Brace the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? GTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, everyone. And for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to archive trophy data by making a trophy VBK and unlocking trophies on any Vita or PSTV without the original game. Um, some prerequisites to state of what you need for this tutorial is a PlayStation Vita or PSTV that's on Hankaku HN Core or, or Hankaku Enzo from firmware 3.60 to 3.68 the latest version of vita shell uh this program on pc called trophy patcher vb2 uh decrypted trophy trp from any vita game and by the way how you get that file is from your vita file or any ftp client of your choice and basically i'll be using windows 10 for this uh, version the game we're going to be testing today is one of my favorite games which is persona 4 and basically we're going to just start with that and with this program, you basically, you don't need, uh, or it will allow you to unlock trophies without even owning a game. So if a friend gives you, or gives you this file or trophy VPK for, I don't know, uh, Gravity Rush, you, and you don't own it, basically, you can unlock trophies without having the game, which is a cool process. Also, um, with this method too. Um, let's say if a game is not popping up its trophies correctly, like I know Monster Hunter is, for example, certain games that uh, may not get trophy information or it may have like offline servers. Um, this method will help archive trophy data that way. So certain games like I think Gundam uh, Battle Fortress that got delisted a few years ago, um, games like that. Uh, certain I know there's a few games that doesn't initially pop up with trophies but or if it's just a way to trade trophies with people uh that's one method on how of doing this um with that being said i'm going to basically be showing you how to get your trophies to pop up so let me go ahead and start up persona 4 and basically you could just follow along so uh any game that you want to do this for go ahead and start it up and basically you want the game to boot up into the main menu because our goal is to get the trophy information to pop up in the trophy PS Vita app and basically we're going to be extracting out the data folder so let me go ahead and click no you may hear the video games audio from my Vita because it's close to the mic I may turn it down because it's pretty loud but I'm going to script uh, skip the main menu so yeah, once you get to any main menu of the game, you could go back out. And then from there, you want to go into Vita Shell. So once you go into Vita Shell, the first thing we're going to be focusing on is to go in your R0. So go in your R0, user, 000, trophy. And then basically from there, where you want to go to is the data folder. Now you may be asking yourself, which game is which um there's these three files right here and i'm not too sure which game because you may have like 30 or 40 50 even 100 trophy files and you may not know which one is which the easiest method on how to do this is to go to config and then go hover over icon zero png and that's basically the game trophy file uh photo so it says right here the one we're looking for is persona 5 so basically match the mpcom id which in this case is 03895 and then just match that with this so you know which game is for which um another way on how to tell a game i know i stated it in other tutorials before but if you go into the trope.sfm and then uh look where it says title name or title detail it will tell you the game name from there too so that's another way but once you figure out which game is which and the one you want to do go ahead and copy and then now what you want to do is go hover over the UX 0 scroll all the way down and make a random folder see I already did this process a little earlier to make things faster so all you would have to do is just go ahead and paste your trophy data and this is how your trophy data show look like it should have the TRP title the TRP trans dat and then you want to get the trophy TRP and I'll show you guys how to get that so basically you want to go ahead and hover over app and you want to figure out which 
it, or which game is your game by the content ID. The easiest way on how to do this is type your game title ID in Google and then put content ID. So for example, if you want to know what Persona 4 one is, is just go ahead and type in Persona 4 content ID and what region it is because depending on what region it may have a content ID. So I know like PSCSG for example or Japanese games and there are like a few other ones but the one we're going to be focusing on today i think it's pscas 00120 and the way you want to do this is open the crypt and this basically decrypts all the files within the um folder in itself and then yeah so basically you want to f go ahead and figure out which game it is in this case my game is pcse 00120 that's persona 4 and now you want to go and hover over to trophy go in this mpcom id folder and then go ahead and copy it the way you could tell that it's decrypted if the file is readable so as you could tell we can make out the um words in here like trope dot sfm icon zero png and i'll show you the difference of what an encrypted one looks like so let's say you didn't press or didn't open the crypt and you just went straight in sce underscore system and try to hit uh actually hold on let me back out because it's still going to decrypt but once you figure out uh that it's like not decrypted or right, let me do another game because i guess this one is fully decrypted right now but for example if i go to this game right here pcs 008 and try to click on icon it's not decrypted so it'll give you an error same thing with the trophy trp if you try to go ahead and hover over it it's um it will have a bunch of like mumbo jumbo text and you can't tell or make what it is that means the thing is encrypted but once you get your decrypted folder right and I'm just want to explain this for people who don't understand encryption or decryption with those type of files. You want to go ahead and make a, a folder on your Vita and then just basically paste whatever. I just made a folder on my Vita called Trophy Test and I already have a decrypted one. And before you want to go ahead and transfer this over to FileZilla, go ahead and hit X to make sure that is decrypted if it's readable. And then from there, um, go ahead and press start, select, and then... FTP and I'm gonna show y'all guys how to do this via from display capture so let me boot up FileZilla real quick go ahead and type your IP address your port is always 1137 and now you want to go to your directory right here and find wherever you dump this so in my case I dump my two files over here and now you just want to drag them out to your uh, PC so once FileZilla basically transfers your over, I'll give you a little notification if you have that already done. Oh, where did it go? Yeah, oops. I don't. Yeah. So there it goes right there. And now, what you want to do is now go into my description and download uh this program called Trophy VPK. It'll be in a zip. And now what you want to do is basically run it as administrator so i'm going to do that real quick and basically this is the process showing you how to run uh make a trophy vbk and it's a very simple project um credit goes out to silica and pina and making this and whoever or who anybody else that helped so basically you get this little cmd prompt and it takes a little while to boot up for a second let me go ahead and X this out real quick yes oh it may your folder may hide behind the program if that's the case go ahead and just slide it over but now it says please select the incompatible games NPR folder and it tells you where to get it from so in this case um, it takes a little while to boot up the prompt but now it'll if you may not have the games folder it will check in a dot eboot bin because most games I know um, has the mpcom sign but in this case we're not doing that method we're just doing the original traditional method go ahead and find wherever you dumped it in this case this is my folder and this is persona 4 go ahead and click ok and then please select the incompatible games decrypted trp so from here now 
you want to go ahead and find it. Mine is on my desktop. I made a trophy test. This is the decrypted TRP. And now you want to say save patch game. And then I'm just going to put this on my desktop and I'm going to call it Persona 4. Don't name it uh, any weird text or put any stars. I know Japanese names tend to not work too if you're trying to get like or Korean names. So just name it any random file and then you could change over because I know the program has a problem with that. So once it does that, the program will run a script in creating a trophy patch. And voila, you have your PlayStation 4 VPK. Now once you have that, you could go ahead and go back to FileZilla if you kept it open and just transfer this game to UX0 wherever you want to. You could do this via USB 2. Um, but let me go ahead and drag and drop. So once you dragged and dropped it, and these files are under well enough 10 megabytes, I'm gonna go show you how to install it. It's like any other VPK, but just for new people, I'll show you guys to how to install it via your Vita. So now, let me go ahead once you got that done, go ahead and back out all the way down. Go ahead and click Persona 4, install the package. And basically, once it installs, I'll show you how to unlock your game. There's like one or two methods on how of doing this. So from here, if you go back out, go into, I think I already have it, MP Trophy Sample. It will pop probably new for you. Go ahead and click OK and then basically it will prompt you on how to install so this is basically your trophy sample and then from here you could just select your game and it will unlock its trophies by using the directional pad button so if I'm going to unlock the first trophy in the game it will unlock and I'm not too sure if it's popping up on my screen but if you can hear, it's unlocking the trophies individually. I guess it's not probably showing up on the screen. See, that's how I probably got to show you guys. So if I unlock this trophy and go back out, as you can see right here, welcome back. It literally earned straight a minute ago. So that's how basically you can manually unlock each trophy for whatever game. And yeah, it will show up on your live screen from that method. It is showing on basically my Vita is just sometimes OBS doesn't like to use uh, certain applications and it doesn't pop up. Like I know like the remote play app doesn't really show any of the trophy apps. It basically will not show either. But I think if I could get it to pop up real quick. Yeah, so right now, as you see, um, Persona 4, it was at 0% before, and that's just me unlocking it right now. Um, with that being said, that's how basically to archive um, a trophy game, or by using Trophy Patch or VPK. Thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate all the love and support I'm getting right now. And my name is Nagato, and I'm signing out. Thank you.